We're now going to talk about the hair growth cycle. The hair has a cycle which is broken up into three main stages. We have the anagen phase, which is the growth phase, the catagen phase, which is the transitional phase, and the telogen, which is the resting phase. Now, not all hairs on your uh, face, scalp, or body are in the same stage of growth at the same time. And with humans, hair growth is intermittent and not necessarily seasonal or cyclic. As mentioned, there are three stages of growth. Anagen is the growth or active phase. This is where the cells will divide rapidly and the new hair is formed. Hair growth is most rapid in this stage. Scalp hair stays in this phase for around two to six years, which is why um, your, the hair on your head continues to grow. Eyelashes, eyebrows, and most of your body hair have a very short growth phase of between 30 and about 60 days, which is why this hair stays shorter. Next, we have the catagen stage. Now this is the transitional stage and lasts about two to three weeks. In this phase, the growth totally stops, but the hair does not yet fall out. During this phase, the hair follicle shrinks, the lower part is destroyed, the dermal papilla breaks away and the bulb detaches from the blood supply. Then it goes into the telogen stage. This is the resting phase when the hair is completely formed and lasts for about 100 days for hair on the head and face and a little longer for body hair. So they are the three main phases, but there is also another stage which is mesanogen, also known as early anagen. In this stage, um, you'll have the hair follicle still in the telogen stage, so it will still have the hair in it, but it will return to the anagen growing phase and produce a new hair before the old one is shed. The old hair will still shed as normal, um, but this is why it's not unusual to see two or even three hair shafts in the one follicle. When waxing a client regularly, you're going to get the best result when the hair is in the antigen stage. When the hair is properly removed in this stage, you will see a dark root covered in a white sheath-like material. If you're waxing uh, regularly and continuously pulling the hair out by the root, you will start to destroy the root system, thus causing the hair to soften and thin out, and in some people, it just stops growing altogether. Although it will vary from one client to another, it is best if there is some length in the hair for it to be properly waxed. Normally around half a centimetre or longer is ideal. If you try and wax hair when it's too short, it will probably not come out or you're in danger of causing a lot of ingrown hairs. With most people, regular waxing is best at four to six weekly intervals and at that stage you're going to pick up a lot of hairs in the antigen phase.